Rogers Corporation presents Critical RF Material Properties for 77 to 81 gigahertz radar antennas. Here's your host, Joey Kellner. Hello, my name is Joey Kellner and I'm a Market Segment Manager at Rogers Corporation. This video will discuss two key properties to consider for 77 gigahertz radar applications, dielectric constant and insertion loss. I will show values for these properties for two products that we most frequently recommend for 77 gigahertz radar applications, RO3003 and RO4830. Typically, for millimeter wave frequencies such as 77 gigahertz, RF designers will select a lower dielectric constant RF laminate somewhere around three. Most uh, data sheets for, for RF laminates will report dielectric constant at 10 gigahertz using the IPC test method. Um, the actual circuit decay of the final application is going to depend on many things. The RF material selected, the thickness, the copper foil used, as well as the type of circuit and the test method used to measure dielectric constant. The following chart shows dielectric constant versus frequency for three different Rogers product configurations. The chart shows RO4830, which is a thermoset resin-based laminate clad with low-pro reverse-treated ED copper foil. Also shown is RO3003, which is a ceramic-filled PTFE material. We show RO3003 with two different copper foil options, standard ED foil and rolled copper. All materials are 5 mils thick and clad with half ounce copper foil. Dielectric constant is measured up to 100 gigahertz using the differential phase length method. Values at 77 gigahertz are listed in the table. The material with the lowest dielectric constant is RO3003 with rolled copper at 3.03. RO3003 with ED copper has a slightly higher circuit decay at 3.16. This is an example of how the same RF substrate will have different circuit decays due to the roughness of the copper foil cladding. The dielectric constant of RO4830 is similar to RO3003 with ED copper with a value of 3.24. Next, let's discuss insertion loss. Insertion loss is a property of a finished circuit, so many factors can also influence the insertion loss such as the RF material selected, the final finishes used in PCB manufacturing, and various other items. Two aspects of the RF material can influence the insertion loss, the dissipation factor, or DF, of the RF substrate, and the copper foil roughness of the copper foil used. Particularly at lower dielectric thicknesses and higher frequencies, the copper foil roughness is going to dominate the insertion loss. On the next chart, the same three Rogers products are shown again using the same test method, this time comparing insertion loss versus frequency. RO3003 with rolled copper combines the lowest substrate dissipation factor and the smoothest copper foil, rolled, resulting in the lowest insertion loss. RO3003 with ED copper and RO4830 with low pro reverse treated foil achieve similar insertion loss performance but with different combinations of substrate dissipation factor and copper foil roughness. The measurements shown so far were taken at room temperature, but to get a feel for what a real world application might look like, for instance, a radar sensor in a vehicle, Rogers has also taken measurements of these properties after high temperature and high humidity exposures. The following chart is going to show dielectric const constant versus frequency again, but this time we'll have two sets of data. One set will be measured at room temperature and the other will be measured at uh, 72 hours of exposure to 85 degrees Celsius at 85% relative humidity. In addition, we're going to compare RO3003 to a competitor's material, which is a PPE uh, thermoset product. The top pair of plot lines, orange and blue, show that the dielectric constant of RO3003 laminates changes by only 0.005 after the environmental exposure. That's the 72 hours at 85 degrees Celsius and 85% relative humidity. The bottom pair of plot lines, yellow and gray, show the competitor's material before and after the environmental exposure. After the exposure, the dielectric constant has changed by about 0.04. A change in dielectric constant of 0.04 is significant considering that that is half of the full dielectric constant tolerance of plus or minus 0.04. 
We have discussed the dielectric constant and insertion loss performance of RO3003 and RO4830 products so far. Again, these are the two products that Rogers most frequently recommends for 77 gigahertz radar applications. This last table is going to compare those three product configurations, RO3003 with ED and rolled copper, and RO4830 with reverse treated copper for the different categories we've talked about, and we can see how they rank relative to one another. This table shows that RO3003 with rolled copper has the best performance in all three categories. The combination of the RO3003 dielectric and smooth rolled copper foil provides the lowest dielectric constant and the lowest insertion loss option. The RO3003 dielectric composition is what drives the excellent electrical performance over temperature and humidity, regardless of the copper type used. Therefore, RO3003 clad with electro-deposited copper also has very good performance and is the most widely used in 77 gigahertz radar applications. With electro-deposited copper, the dielectric constant is somewhat higher and insertion lo loss is not quite as low as rolled copper. RO4830 also has good performance across these three categories. While the dielectric constant is slightly higher than RO3003 with ED copper, the insertion loss is on par. This concludes our video for critical properties to consider for 77 gigahertz radar antennas. Thank you for watching. For additional information and technical tools, if you are not already a member, join the Rogers Technology Support Hub and gain access to calculators, technical papers, and more of Coonrod's Corner and other informational videos. Rogers Technical Information is also available at your fingertips with the Raj mobile app, available for the iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. Check it out today.